We'll come to those good courses in a minute. Yes. But I still want to take you up on the fact that uh, the commission has the has the the mandate to ensure that um, the public is properly educated, educated yes, yes. and uh, the media is one form that you use, okay. whether the electronic media, print, or, or even the social media. Yes. How about doing um, from community to community? Because you said the commission has opened offices yeah. in a couple of 14, states, 14 in states. 14 states. Mm -hmm. So how about going to different communities, local governments, working with the local governments to ensure that the people at the grassroots begin to understand? Because I'm sure everybody knows Baba Ijebu. Yeah. The ones on the corner. Premier Lotto. Premier, Premier Lotto. Yes. But the local local where everybody knows them, Baba Ije. But everybody goes to Baba Ije to go and play the lottery. But they don't understand that if they get shortchanged, for instance, they get cheated, they can yeah. come to the commission to lay their complaint. So the only way they can know that is if they're told that it can happen. And how would you work with the local government to ensure that the people at the grassroots understand that, look, if anybody cheats you, we're here to protect you? I agree with you, but it boils down to the resources to mobilize people and move around. You don't just tell somebody, go to a remote part of Nigeria and start campaigning or maybe start preaching, and uh, the person will not uh, demand for money or something to sustain himself. Or so I believe that the better partnership should be between the media and the commission and with other agencies of government. Because uh, yesterday we had a meeting with the Lagos Lotteries, but we have to work together. Uh, we are having uh, meetings with uh, NECA, Nigerian uh, Employers uh, Consultative uh, Association. The, the point there is that there are some manufacturers, some organizations that are members of these bigger bodies, and they are using marketing to cover up their lottery operations. And they tend to challenge the authority of the commission. But who is shortchanging the process is the Nigerian public. So I agree with you, Harry, that we have to reach out but the resources to reach out, they are not there. So we believe that the media and what you are doing now is the starting point. And I believe if you can create a segment where we can regularly educate Nigerians, and especially maybe scroll uh, hotlines and other uh, information that will enable Nigerians to, it, it's true, because I believe that it's part of your good causes to this country too. Yes, it, for is, channels it, it TV. is part of a good cause, yes. but then, no. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a situ situation of LTP, let them pay. <laughs> okay. But let's still go back uh, to the issue of, um, of regulation mm. and uh, how the uh, commission has been able to check fraudulent activities. We know that um, the commission gets, uh, had a budget for the year, was given a certain, uh, about 500 billion naira or thereabouts. 500 what? Billionaire. Ah, no, 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 no. I did, I did what, what uh, let me clarify, because uh, what the commission is entitled to is uh, we're on the ITPIS of government, so our salaries are paid. And then we have an overhead and we have capital expenses. And they, as a government agency, they come in form of envelope. So we are not given that much Oh, money. thank you for clarifying that. Thank but let's you. get back to how you check fraudulent activities. Since it's not automated, how do you keep up with that? Now we have to go out because we have a monitoring team and then we have an enforcement team. So the monitoring team goes out and then uh, deliberately looks out for these uh, who are operating illegal lotteries. And then we get them, we have an enforcement team that uh, has police uh, policemen attached to us. So they go and then uh, we arrest them. Now before now, there was this idea of just going sealing up the place. Uh -huh. And then, before you know, the people will now take us. That is, we have so many litigations against us because we are not easily prosecuting them. So the new method I have adopted as the head is that if we get any legal operator, we will make sure that we pick you and we we'll prosecute you. We are working with the judiciary to have designated courts for lottery so that there will be speedy trial. Uh, and like I mentioned earlier, there is a jail term of not less than one year for those who are operating lottery illegally. So we go out to look for it. Now, sometimes people can report, either because they were defrauded or because they are competitors. Because if you are operating a lottery scheme and some other person is trying to outsmart you or something, you may decide to report. Uh -huh. So we have cases like that. Then we have individuals who are falling victim and have decided to report to us and we will take uh, action. Okay, so that's so, for the issues and the challenges. Yes. You talked about the causes, yeah. good causes yes, that yes, yes. can be used yes. for. What are these causes? Okay, first of all, I want to appreciate the, the President of the Federation. For the first time since 2005 when the Commission came into being, the President has approved good causes in form of grassroots sports development 
for the very first time. So before the end of this year, people in Nigeria will see the good causes of sports in the form of in the good causes of lottery in the form of uh, grassroots sports development. Because uh, selected second uh, primary schools in the country will be equipped. And uh, maybe you are not aware of it, there is a trust fund, the National Lottery Trust Fund. Well, I was waiting for you they to mention keep, it. Uh, yeah, they keep custody of the money. They are the treasurer. And uh, my colleague there, Engineer Gumel, there is actually working out the details how to execute uh, the good causes that have been approved by Mr. President. And we are really grateful to Mr. President to maybe it's part of the transformation of our own uh, grassroots sports. What, yeah. You talked about the National Trust Fund. Yeah, National Lottery Trust National Fund. National Lottery Trust Fund. Yes. Let's talk more about it. Yeah. How much is in the fund? Um, for now, it's a little in excess of $4 billion naira. Uh, because we have not automated, uh, we've not been able to, like you said in your intro, we've not been able to realize the full potentials of lottery. Uh, so annually, we are almost grossing a uh, billion naira annually for now, based on the current uh, operations. Now, you also talked about the fact that the fund um, in the near future will be used for sports development. Yes, Mr. President has already given the approval, so modalities are being worked out. But it's not only about sports, because yeah. we know that um, the lottery has been used in, in different parts of the world. We know we have the UK Lottery Commission, we have in America, we have everywhere we yeah. have lottery commissions. Yeah. And they've been used to support infrastructure, education, sports, and even to support widows. So... We're seeing sports, you know, taking front burner at this particular point in time. But should that be a priority? Now, you know, government has its priority. Like you said, the fund could be used for various intervention pro uh, projects. But because of what is there available and the size of this country, you can't start putting drops here and there. It will not actually make that impact. So I believe that uh, in the wisdom of Mr. President and the presidency, that is good to say. Because the youths, they are the future of this country. And sports is wanting that both unifying the country, creating employment for the, get, getting them gainfully uh, involved in what they are doing, and even exposing them as a uh, potential uh, export product of this country. We have uh, footballers and we have others in, uh, in Nigeria that the Okagbaris of this world and the others who are making waves in sports. So I believe starting with grassroots sports development is one of the best things that will happen because you are caring for the future, not just for today. Well, Mr. Epe, you've been quoted as saying that um, Nigeria could earn as much as 250 billion naira annually from the lottery if it is properly harnessed. Yes. One of the things I know you've mentioned is the fact that there's no automation. Yes. So what else can actually be done to ensure that this 250 billion naira annually is realizable? Uh, a number of issues, a number of things. Now, first of all, is to streamline the operation of all the lottery operators. Because for now, there are multiple operators. They are doing their own things different way. We have Gab Lotto, we have uh, Premier Lotto, you have uh, uh, Golden Chance. Many of them, we have 14 licenses who are doing their things in their own different way. So it has to be streamlined. Through automation, you can actually streamline that. We have to do it. Now, the next thing is to develop the capacity of the commission to actually supervised very well because part of the function if you look at section uh, 7 of the act it talks about the function of the commission not just to regulate not just to supervise but you have to equally make sure that you develop the market and apart from developing the market you have to make sure that those who are participating whether it's a player whether it's an operator that they are protected by ensuring that there is transparency so if a lottery operator is running a draw. There should be transparency. There should not be in the Nigerian palace where they say wuru wuru or mago mago, a sharp practice. Is it so? We have to build our capacity as a commission to be able to equally regulate it. Then look at the population of Nigeria. Let's say 150 million, 160 million. 170 million. 170 million. People, okay, let me agree with you, 170 million. And you say 40% of that is playing lottery. And maybe a ticket of 100 naira. By the time you make the calculation on a daily basis, because lottery is something that has to be played on a daily basis. So the potentials are just there. That is the emphasis I'm making. 
the potentials are there. But we have to streamline our operations. We have to streamline the operations of the operators. And we have to equally automate and be in a position to harness these potentials mm. in order for us to realize uh, 